Hi there, this is Cece, and thanks for joining me for another What Am I Making on Wednesday, however a day late. So in this video, I'm making an art journal page, and it's going to be a complement to the page that you're seeing on the left, meaning that I will grab the same color palette, and I'll also try to keep the same elements, meaning that if I have flowers on the left-hand side, I will repeat the flowers on the right-hand side, just in a different way. So my starting point was to glue a piece of corrugated cardstock to the page. I had it in my stash and I really wanted to challenge myself because it's not an easy surface to work with. So I went over the whole uh, cardstock with a barrier and with the foam roller on it and some white paint just to tone the blue down a little bit and now I'm stamping a Donna Downey foam stamp on it and as you can see I did not get a very uh, dark impression so I'm just removing the excess paint on another journal page in the same journal but it's okay because I will use that to my advantage. In the meantime, I still had some yellow paint on my roller, so I decided to add some color to this die cut trellis. That is for future use. So I'm gonna go over the same flowers. This time I'm gonna use anthraconone blue. And the coolest thing happened. I did not uh, want to stamp right over the same image and it created a fun shadow or a ghost image and I really like the effect and now as I've mentioned before I'm going to pick up the same color of pink as I have on the left hand page and so I'm going to color the center of the flowers with this And of course, you know me by now, <laughs> so I'm finishing off with my fingers. I'm also adding some dots to the background just to do kind of like um, a tie into the page on the left as well. There are a lot of dots on the left hand page. I'm also adding some touches of white inside the flowers. And I'll also be adding the white paint all around the edges of the corrugated cardstock just to blend it to the page. And as usual, all the supplies that I'm using will be listed in my blog post, and the blog post will be linked in the inf or the description bar underneath the video on YouTube. Later on I'm going to add pieces of this uh, trellis die cut so I'm cutting it into smaller pieces and I'm just playing around as to where I want those pieces but I'm going to put them to the side for now. I need to add more dots to this background. So I'm taking my yellow paint and diluting it with water quite a bit so that I can flick the paint on the background. I'm also adding yellow in the center of each of the flowers. At that point I felt that the flowers needed a good pop. So I'm adding white around them with a poster uh, paint pen. Actually it's a Posca paint pen by Uniball. You could also use a Sharpie poster paint pen. And I will also add some white dots to the background. And this is when it occurred to me that that page should be about winter. So whatever comes next will make it a wintry scene. I am going around the flowers once again with a food ball pen. And this will definitely make them pop even more. I like the full ball pen for this because it has a broader tip than the one that I usually use, which is the permaball uh, pen. This, is, this has got a 1.5 tip to it, or point. All right, so now I'm going to glue those lattice or trellis, I think they're called lattice um, die cuts to the page and I, for this I'm using extra heavy gel and it's a matte extra heavy gel because there's so much texture on that cardstock I didn't want to take it the chance of having the trellis 
lift at some point in time. So uh, yes, the extra heavy gel takes longer to dry, but it is totally worth it. Once this is dry, it's not going anywhere. It's stuck to the page for good. And since I've decided that this page is all about winter, I'm going to add some white paint around the edges of that cardstock. And what it does is uh, it softens up the edges, the hard edges, and it makes it look as if it's embedded onto the page. For the title of this page, I decided to use letter stickers. These are by Basic Gray. They're quite old though. And since I was afraid that they might not stay on the page too well, I decided to add a layer of the extra heavy gel again. And that way I know that the title won't go away. Although I do wish that the winter would go away. <laughs> I decided to use this as a, my title. This is my message to Mother Nature. Mother Nature, if you are listening to this, please give us spring. We are tired of the winter. <laughs> so once I'm done with this title or with putting all the letters, I'm going to go over it with a very thin layer of the extra heavy gel. And I have to tell you that I'm using the matte gel and not the gloss. So I won't create just a spot of glossiness on that page everything will be matte so when it dries it dries completely clear right now it looks a little bit muddied but it will dry clear and you'll see from the pictures at the end and now that I've worked so hard to embed that picture onto the page I'm gonna go around it with a football pen a black pen just because I want to <laughs> and I felt like it needed it And I will leave you on that. So thank you so much for watching. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And I will see you later. Bye.